You need, will you, will you be pleading guilty? What? Go. No, go. don't touch me. Don't touch go. me. Hey, 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 hey. Stop! Go away from me. Kian Bexley for Rebel News in Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm at the airport right now going to a second assignment after I've had the evening and the night to collect my thoughts following Jonathan Yaniv violently assaulting me outside of a courthouse. For those of you who don't know who Jonathan Yaniv is, he's a radical transgender activist who speaks to young girls in very sexually explicit ways, sending nude photographs to them. He's someone who runs immigrant women out of business because they refuse to wax his big hairy male balls. He's someone who attacks journalists like my colleague David Menzies and just yesterday he's someone who attacks journalists like me. You need, will you, will you be you pleading go? guilty? Go, 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 what? Go. No, go. don't touch me, don't go. touch me. Go. Hey, 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 hey. Stop! Go away from me. Go away. Fucking hell. Go away from me. Jesus, get away from me, go you away fucking from me. crazy fucking get thing. Get away from me. Get away. Get the fuck away from me. Stay away from me. Get away from me. Now. Right now. You heard me? I'm calling the police on you. I don't give a shit. Get away from me. You stay away from me. I'm backing up. Then go. Don't follow me. Are Do you pleading guilty to your criminal case? Me. Are you pleading guilty? Do not follow me. Are you pleading guilty? Do not follow me. Are you pleading guilty? That's all I want to know. Go away from me. Are you pleading guilty? I'm outside of right Holy. Are you pleading guilty? Get the fuck away from me! Why did you ask for a publication ban? Fuck off! Why did you ask for a publication fuck ban? Off. Go away! Why is it important to you that the public doesn't know what you did? Go away. I need Where are you? You punched me in the head! Are the police on the phone? Turn off the camera and go away. You understand those two words? Did you? Are, are you going to be pleading guilty? You are stalking me. You violated the criminal code. Will you be pleading guilty to the two charges against you for holding a pos pos prohibited weapon? And with actions like this, how dangerous you're acting, how violent you're acting, how do you are? How are you not in custody? No, and I'm not going to be. You will be, though. You will be. You will be. You will be arrested. No, I won't. I know I won't. No, I won't be. Yesterday, he was seeking a publication ban for his trial. Jonathan Yaniv is being charged with two counts of breaking prohibited weapons charges here in Canada. He's someone who definitely shouldn't have prohibited weapons, as we saw from yesterday. I wasn't allowed in the courthouse, actually. Uh, as a reporter, the sheriffs didn't want me in there for some reason, uh, as Jonathan Yuni was seeking a court ban on any publications. Now, because I wasn't expecting to get assaulted yesterday, I didn't loop it into my regular coverage of Yaniv's court hearing. So I'm going to throw to my original coverage, which was just as spicy and interesting as usual, so you have context, and then you'll see the assault at the end. Now, you might ask why I'm not in the building. Why am I not reporting on this from the inside as I said I was going to be doing? Well, it's because the sheriffs here have been helping Jonathan Yaniv. Source told me that Yaniv was actually shepherded in through a back door, which was confirmed when I went inside to see if, uh, if I was waiting for nobody, if Yaniv was already in the courthouse. Now, I can't record in the courthouse, uh, so I was hoping that I could catch Yaniv outside. When I went inside, the sheriffs approached me saying that I wasn't allowed to be harassing anyone. Luckily I wasn't, I was sitting at a computer, and they continued to ask if I'd been filming inside the courthouse. I don't know why they were so concerned about that, but it's curious because it's the exact same thing a sheriff alleged of me last time I was here, back on December 5th. Jonathan Yaniv uses this as a tactic to silence reporters, complaining with false accusations of breaking the law so that sheriffs intervene. And it worked. 
well, not at first. As I was speaking to police, Yaniv took the opportunity to scuttle out as fast as he possibly could with his mother. I took this opportunity to leave, much to the sheriff's chagrin. They demanded that I stay put, that I stand still and stand and talk to them. Luckily, they had no authority to keep me there. I didn't break the law. I'm not a lawbreaker. Yaniv is the one that seems, or at least appears to be a lawbreaker right now. We've had to see what's going to happen in court. Anyways, I was walking as fast as I could to follow up with Yaniv as he was leaving the building. And right as I stepped out, I turned on my camera and started filming, asking Yaniv how he would be pleading. Here's how that went. Jonathan, will you be pleading okay, guilty? Leave me alone. Will you be pleading hey, guilty? You go, go and go inside the courthouse then. Yeah, will you be pleading guilty? Hey, don't, don't, don't touch my property. Don't touch, you, you don't touch my property. You can't be floating in anything in here. I'm not. Will you be pleading guilty, Jonathan? <laughs> my name is not Jonathan. You know that. The court registry says off. otherwise. Will, will you be pleading guilty? Now this individual right here grabbed my equipment and tried to pull it down. This individual didn't want me asking a predator questions. I don't know why that is. He had no right to touch me, to touch my equipment. We were outside of the courthouse. I was in a public space recording a public individual, someone of international significance, who's been ridiculed on the global stage, someone who's destroyed the reputation of the trans movement, for better or for worse, here in Canada. I was asking very basic questions, but for some reason the sheriffs are so keen to protect Jonathan Yaniv. Now I tried to get back into the courthouse, but they were not having it. You, sir, are not coming inside. Thank you. Yeah, you're not coming inside. Now, I'm displeased with how the sheriffs have been acting, but it actually gets worse. I tried to get back into the building for the 2 p.m. court date, and they wouldn't let me. They cited Section 4D of the BC Sheriff's Act, saying that I posed a threat to the occupants of the building. Unfortunately, 4D doesn't actually exist in the BC Sheriff's Act. It goes from 4A to 4C. There's no 4D, so the sheriff obviously didn't know what he was talking about, but he said he was going to arrest me if I went back in there. So here we are right now. Jonathan Yaniv is in the courtroom. And a report from my friend, someone with True North, actually told me that right now, as I record this, Jonathan Yaniv is seeking a court ruling for a publication ban of this trial. It seems that Yaniv is now sick and tired of the international infamy that he has gained from his petty swindling of immigrant women, throwing them out of business. For him, brandishing prohibited weapons on a YouTube live stream. Yaniv doesn't want the poor press, he only wants the good press. When the mainstream media stands up for some poor transgender individual who won't have his balls waxed. Well, I'm here to get real answers. Yaniv, will you, will you be pleading guilty? What? No, don't touch me, don't touch me. Hey! Stop! Go away from me! Now I spoke to police right after this incident However, they weren't too keen on following up when it came to my colleague David Menzies getting assaulted by Yaniv in a similar way with a cane. I hope that the police will charge this villain with assault. However, I'm not really going to hold my breath. I do know that I'm going to get a lawyer. If the police don't press charges, I might have to follow up with civil action. If you want to support the work that I'm doing here, mainly my reporting, because that's what I'm interested in doing, but also the lawyers that I'm inevitably going to have to get to fight this menace on the community here in Vancouver. Please go to yanivetrial.com and pitch in a few bucks so that I can keep up this coverage. It's going to start up again in early February and so that I can fight this monster in civil court if it comes to it. For Rebel News in Vancouver, British Columbia, I'm Kean Bexton. Well, here at Rebel News, we're not buying in to Jonathan Yaniv's schemes and lies. We're going to continue to report the truth, which you can see at yanivtrial.com. All updates will be posted there. For Rebel News in Surrey, British Columbia, I'm Kean Bexi. Thanks for watching our coverage here at Yaniv Trial. Go to yanivtrial.com. Thanks so much for watching our coverage here right outside of the courthouse because I'm not allowed in. I asked too many tough questions. You can go to yanivetrial.com to see how today turned out and follow along with me live on Twitter at The Real Kian.